It is time to refill our activity kits. These are things that I put together for my kids so they can pull out when they're bored and have something to do. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. This kit is from last time, so I'm gonna go through it and show you what worked and didn't work, and then I'm gonna refill it with some new goodies. And a big thanks to today's sponsor, iClever. Let me tell you about them first before we get started. Definitely wanna talk about our sponsor, iClever. They sent me this pair of headphones to take a look at, and I'm really excited about this for several different reasons. Let me open it up here. It's for ages three and up. Oh, they sent me a pretty color. Look at this. Love this color. And I wanted to include it in this video because a lot of times traveling on the go or even in the house using headphones for the devices that we have in our house or in our activity kits, this is definitely a useful thing to have. So we have the headphones here. You do get a manual that comes with it and a charging cord too. So here's our charging cord and here's to plug in. So iClever is focused on children's development, especially hearing health. They're super soft. <laughs> I'm like feeling that super super soft and, and comfortable and squishy. So your kids are gonna like wearing that. So it's very comfortable, user-friendly, and then has rotating ear cups. So they rotate like that and a 10 level headband. You can make it smaller or larger depending on the size that you need for your child's head. There's actually safe volume protection on here. It limits the sound. So you can't go blaring on the headphones and be worried about the level of sound that's going in your child's ears. You do have volume controls here, so you can make it higher or lower, as well as the power button. Right here is where the charger goes in and where you can plug in your headphones. These are made without BPA and PVC, which is really nice. So when you use the charging cord, it's really cool because there's actually a 60 hour battery life. So if you're doing a road trip or if you wanted to take it with you on the go, you're definitely gonna have no problem with the battery life and just from holding these and playing around with these I can definitely see how these are gonna be super comfortable on the ears I really like the cushion here and the color is just adorable They're gonna be easy to pack up and take to go with you because of the rotating arms and I really like the details about the safe listening that's super important to me iClever actually has a safe listening program they are giving their headphones for free to schools as a charity event so if you're a teacher school school staff you can apply to the program through link I'm going to put that in the description box for you to go to as well. Also in the description box, you're going to find a link to these on Amazon. So definitely take advantage of that. I do believe they have a couple of different colors and a couple of different other styles that you can look at as well. So thank you to iClever for sponsoring today's video. I'm definitely loving the headphones that have a focus on hearing health. So let's go over what was in the last activity kit that we did. There was quite a few things in here and kind of tell you what worked and didn't work. And then we'll refill it with some of the new things. Definitely know this game was played if you watched my, I think it was my last video that I posted. I talked about like quick and easy games to learn that are fun. This was one of them. It's called OK Play and it's a four player game. It's just a really good travel game. I explained in depth how to play it in that video. So if you want to watch that, we'll put that up in the corner and then you can go and see how to play it. But this was definitely played with. Did not get to this. This is a package of sun filters. Basically, they will bleach in the sun when you put them out in the sun and you can make all kinds of different designs with like foil and things like that and we didn't get to that so I'm gonna hold on to this it was we were just way too busy this is gonna be more of a summertime activity I'm gonna hold on to these you'll probably see it again this definitely did get played with this is the magnetic chess game which is hard to tell because the box has stickers all over it now, this is actually in the games video too so I might just put a clip of that in here real quick to kind of show you a game where everybody has some magnets and you place them within a circle that you make with the string and your job is to get rid of your magnets first be very careful because if the magnets attract one another you have to take all of those magnets into that pile and then start all over again basically that one was definitely a hit my kids thought that was hilarious and fun we have the 3d jigsaw puzzle this was from timu i did a whole timu video where i had a whole bunch of different games in there if you haven't watched the timu videos those are great for inspirations on games it's all these different cards in here and you have to mimic the pictures on the cards using the blocks and they all have different things on them so you have to find the right blocks to match up to make the picture. So it's like a 3D puzzle is what it's called, 3D jigsaw puzzle. So this one I think was played with a few times. So we're gonna put this into our games closet. It's also a really good like one player game and it's nice and compact too. Another game was this 3D building block game where you had all these different cards and your job was to take this, which is actually stuck together by a string and you can turn it and bend it into different possibilities and you're to match whatever it was on your 
card. And there's different levels too, like easier, harder. And I can tell that since this game is all torn apart here in the packaging, that this was definitely played with. Another great travel game, restaurant game, thing to do while you're waiting for your food. We had two things from their Christmas stockings. These were from Five Below. This was like a this or that game, like would you rather? And this was um, take a hint game. So you get six clues and one guess. I might throw these in the car. I think they'd be a good car game. For sure, no, these were played with. They're from Goo Games. I put them in these little plastic baggies to keep them all together. But I know when my daughter was sick, she had one day when she stayed home from school, she was playing with these. It was a really nice quiet game where you have water inside and you push the little bubbles to move all the objects inside and go into the different things. And their cards come out and you can switch them out. So each one has a couple different cards you can choose, which is why I put them in the little baggies to keep them all together. They love these. They play with these several different times. These were two Dollar Tree books. These definitely did get looked at 100% for sure. As did this one, which was a little stem book with different kinds of activities and things they all got looked at and read through so now we have our empty box i always talk about these boxes i just use this like sterilite shoe bin and you can use any size that you want i like this size because if it doesn't fit in here it's not going to go in my kit and i don't overdo it or underdo it it just seems to be the right size for me whatever works best for you just use something you have i'm going to start off with one of the larger items in fact i don't know if the box is even going to fit in there but we'll get to that later this is really cool because it's a critical thinking logic game and it's really easy to play and pick up and I was actually entertained with it and I see that my child has already come in here and <laughs> messed around with it a little bit. So it comes with a set of marbles here and all of these inserts that have little pegs on them and they're different sizes. So I'm just going to take them out so I can demonstrate one round for you really quick. It has a little lever there so you, when you set it up it's at a slant. Up here is where you're going to put marbles and it has a little lever here that will release the marble into the maze. Your pegboard is for your marble maze and then you your goal is to get it into one of these slots down here at the bottom. There is a game booklet that goes along with this and the page shows you how to set up your challenge. So this is your game board and it shows you which pieces, red, white, excuse me, red, yellow, blue, should go in here and where they should go. Then it tells you at the top how many different marbles for that maze and where it needs to go down at the bottom. The trick is, is that there are a couple pieces that you have to add to the board and put in there so that your marble can get down there properly. So let me just choose a puzzle here and I'm gonna set it up real quick. So let's do that. Okay, so here's how it's set up. Telling me I need marbles up here, I use two. And then I'm gonna add a yellow piece somewhere to this maze in order to solve it. So my first thing I wanna do is probably see where these marbles land. So they both go into number one. My booklet says it needs to go into this space number two. So I have to figure out how to get both of those marbles to get into number two. I'm gonna guess by putting this here, that should do the trick. Let's give it a shot. Did it, nice. When I do activity kits, I try to put games in here that they can play together or play by themselves because sometimes they don't want to play with anybody, just play on their own. I'll put all the pieces into the plastic baggie without the box this time. In fact, I'm gonna put the instructions with the box. I should probably get a bigger baggie for that. We'll do that later. The other solo game I'm gonna include is an oldie but goodie in our house, IQ Digit. Love this one. So you have all of these numbers in here and that's why it's called digits because of the different numbers in here. And and then this actually is your game board. It has a puzzle book with so many different puzzles. It is a one player game and your job is to set up the puzzle according to the picture. So I'm gonna do this one real quick for us. Okay, and then I have remaining these three pieces and my job is to fit them into this puzzle somehow. Hmm. My first inkling is to maybe put the zero there, the five there, and the eight there. I can check my answers in the back of the booklet and match up all of my numbers and colors and see that I got this one right. So you can do all kinds of different challenges. They get really, really hard, you guys, towards the end. I mean, there's some in there that only give you one or two pieces and you have to figure it out. There are some that have some math involved, I believe. Yeah, there's some in here where there's just a number and then the sum of the numbers touching that number on the game board is the pieces that need to be in that spot. That's gonna go in there. For books this time, I'm gonna do exactly what I did in the last video, which is to go to shop my own bookshelf and find some books that they haven't read in a while. And so I went on the nonfiction route. This is 365 fun facts for Catholic kids. It's what we have on our shelf. So I thought this would be good to include. You can put any kind of fact books or something that's on your shelf already that has been forgotten. This one just happens to go day by day and give a fun fact. I'm gonna also include this one, which is the fascinating science book for kids. There's 500 amazing facts in here. This one I like just because it's a 
real easy read with lots of pictures and it's a good reference book, but it's just really easy. So they could probably literally read this in one day. They're fifth and sixth grade right now. It's also not like scary and daunting where they wouldn't want to look through it and read it and find out about things. So we're going to include both of those. I will have to put links to all the things I'm showing you down in the description box if you're curious and want to take advantage of some of the finds. For crafts, I'm going to do a fly below find. This is um, Mayo Mini Clay. It's recommended for ages six and up where you make little miniature clay things. Because they have all kinds of different pictures, pizzas, mushrooms, dinosaurs, pineapples. It says it makes 20 mini sculptures and it comes with six paint pots, one bag of air dry clay, and a bottle of glaze. Finish it off. It has everything that you need to make some and this was actually a Christmas gift that we haven't opened yet. So I kind of want her to work on that. This was at the Dollar Tree recently too. I just did a Dollar Tree shop with me where I showed you all the new craft stuff. Holy moly, there's a lot of new craft things. And this craft kit, play toolkit was there. So I picked that up to go along with this and thought she could use it. Now there are some tools in here. Figured can add some more for some variety. So we're going to put all that together in there as one of the crafts to work on. I like to try to put a little bit of crafty things in here every now and then if I have them. That was actually meant for my fifth grader. She's 10. And then also new at the Dollar Tree are these little sewing doll kits. So this would be for my sixth grader. She's 12. The little llama. It comes with all the little tools. Now I'm not convinced that the instructions in here are actually really good. Usually they're not. They're very simple and basic. So it'll probably be something we work on together but it does have like the stuffing in there and all the little parts that you need to complete the llama. So I'm gonna try that and see. I mean, for $1.25, I mean, we'll have to figure something out, right? I'm gonna add some more games. This is a brand new one to us. In fact, we have not even played it yet. The plastic is still on here, so I can't really describe how to play it to you yet. Um, so I'm not going to even attempt to try because I haven't learned it. But since it's a brand new game, I'm gonna put it in this kit because I want to attempt to play it. I saw it on TikTok and apparently it was a lot of fun when they were playing so I thought why not the age is eight and up and it says three to eight players if you have experience with this game let me know what you think one that I do have experience with is wild side now you might have seen this before on my channel this is called number sense cards and it includes a book of 50 games in here so they have games with these cards for all different age groups and learning levels and here's the booklet of all the different games and it's all separated by grade levels so you can find one that's appropriate for you and the cards grow with the child so if I open it up. I can look for activities and games for grades six through eight and they can look at that part of the booklet. In fact, I might just leave it in there like that so they look at it. Let me find the grade lower. Yeah, let's go three to five. And then here's what the cards look like. Well, not those cards. Those are wilds. Use those for some of the games. Here are the main cards. So the main cards have the number on them. They have the fingers. They have the 10 frames. They have a number line. They have tally mark. And so there's all kinds of different games that you can play with these using those different parts of the cards. So if I look at here, spot the factors. So learning about factors, fraction face down. So there's fractions, fact battle with multiplication, place value, stockpiles, name of another one, bigger, smaller. And so we can experiment with some of the different games that they have with these cards. So I'm going to leave this here open to this section so they can experiment that with that. This was sent to me a long time ago. It's just a small company that makes these cards. And if they're still on Amazon, I'll definitely put that down below too, because I just think it's a great set of cards to have for all kinds of different ages. And then I wanted to include this, which probably is a little bit on the younger side for them but because it works on Spanish I wanted to include it I think it needs to be charged so there's a charging cable in here so we can charge it up but basically you have these flashcards in here and they're English to Spanish and so they do a Spanish class right now and they're constantly asking me what does this mean or what does that mean so we have the picture on here and they can go through and put the cards in there and hear how some of these words are pronounced using this device so the card just goes right inside the slot here and then it's voiced when you put the card in and you can repeat it over and over again. So it comes with two sets of cards. This one is animals, vehicles, foods, vegetables, family, all kinds of things, jobs, clothing. And this one has letters and numbers, time, directions, places, and games. I'm kind of sports. I'm reading in Spanish there. So we're going to put this in there and we are filled on this one. I mean, quite frankly, that is stuffed in there. Watch on Instagram. I try to post on Instagram when they're doing some of these things and I will fill you in as we go along. So there is our activity kit for this month. I'm gonna put another video up here on screen for you to go watch next. I will see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.